come in and you clap and you dance and you worship, you do the flags, the tambourines, whatever. <coughs> because we're body, mind, soul, and spirit, you know. Sometimes say, oh, that's all fleshly, isn't it? Yeah, but it feels good. Amen, it feels good. It's better than doing something for the devil. Let's do something for the Lord. Amen. You're supposed to feel good. Amen. I'm not talking about we work and run by our feelings, but it sure feels good to feel good, don't it? Yes. I'd rather feel good than be depressed. Amen. Sit there like a bump on a log and get nothing out of it. Amen. You know, bless me, Lord. Amen. I'm not ashamed of now. I used to be when I first got saved. I didn't know what does. I thought they're all crazy. <laughs> I thought you were all nuts, people like you. But I quit, you know, I just, all right, you know, we'll give it a shot, you know. And then God would reveal Himself to me more and more. And I looked in the Word and said, yeah, maybe they ain't crazy after all. It says that they're supposed to do that right here. <laughs> I remember, never forget the first time I tried to raise my hand. Like the devil was sitting on it, boy. I just couldn't do it. Like semen it into the seat. I just couldn't get it up. I was all macho and proud, you know. And God had to break off. Oh, he made the little God. I'm you, he knew how to break it. Ooh, he'll put you in an arm lock and you, you, you got to say give. I remember the next week I went back. Yeah! That's it. Music wasn't even playing yet. Yeah! Uh, hey! <laughs> I've been praising God ever since. Amen. Not ashamed Amen. of the Lord. Amen. It just took me a little while to get caught up. You know what I mean? You know what I was doing. I didn't want to do it because they were doing it. I didn't want to look nuts like them. <laughs> Now I'm crazy in all of you. Hallelujah! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's crazy. Yeah, and pray for me because I'm going to get worse. Hallelujah. Amen. I want a double portion. Hallelujah! Hallelujah. Amen. I've been thinking about grabbing some flags myself. Yeah. Amen. Give me some man flags. <laughs> yeah. I can dance. Yeah. Yeah. I can do the twist. Jesus. I'm sitting the wall. That's <laughs> before some of you were born. I'm playing with you. Hey Amen. One of these days I'll cut loose on it. Hallelujah. Trying to figure out how I can play the congos and dance at the same time. But I'm going to work it out. I believe in miracles. I get a little sad. Hey Amen. How many how many glad you came here? Let me see. All right, we're working on you. Got about ten more minutes. Can you handle ten more minutes? Hey Amen. Hallelujah. The best is yet to come. Right. Ooh. Let's also not forget that we're living in a dangerous world, dangerous times, evil times, wicked times, hellish times, because we're living in the last times. Amen. The devil, the Bible says in Revelation chapter 12, verse 12, that's an easy one to remember. Revelation 12, 12, the devil knows that his time is short. And he's thrown all of hell at us. I'm telling you, people were going through some things as a church worldwide, as the body of Christ, like never before. And the world's going through labor pains like never before. That's just Jesus said. The end times is going to be like a woman in travail, ready to deliver a baby. And the closer her time comes, some of you mothers know what I'm talking about. You start, you know, that's what the world doing right now. They're, it's about ready to deliver. Mm -hmm. End time stuff. Glory be to God. I'm glad I'm not a woman. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Someone may be thinking, it's, uh, is all this possible? Can we really have enduring faith? Absolutely. Absolutely. But here's where you get it. Nehemiah chapter 8, last part of verse 10. It says, for the joy of the Lord is my strength. You can't fight without strength. And it helps to have joy. Amen? You don't have to walk around defeated and depressed. You can have joy in the middle of hell. The worst times of your life. You still have peace. That's what the Bible says. Peace that passes all understanding. I can't understand how I got this peace when they did this to me. And they did that to me. Or they stole that from me. Or they broke my heart over here. Or what? How can I have it? It's God-given. Amen. It's God-given. Hallelujah. And it's for everybody that will accept it and believe it and live the life. Peace that passeth all understanding. And the joy of the Lord shall be your strength. Hallelujah. He'll get you through. Somehow, some way, He always makes a way. 
He's a way maker. Hallelujah. Woo, glory be to God. You just got to believe it. And endure whatever you got to endure. Because believe me, at the end of life, it'll be worth it all. Amen. You might say, well, God, this is tough down here. Or this sickness or that disease or this thing or that thing. No matter what. But you know what? One day you're going to get to get a new body. No more crying. No more this. No more that. It's all passed away. Amen. Everything becomes new. Amen. And you're in heaven for eternity. Be worth it all? Yes. Ooh, the Bible said our life is like a vapor of smoke here today and gone tomorrow. To God. You know, you're going to be here for a short time. That's right. So shouldn't we make the best of it? Amen. Yes. Mm -hmm. Don't get bitter at life. Don't get bitter at people. Mm -hmm. Forgive. It's not easy sometimes. And you can't do it in your own strength. But you can do it here. The joy of the Lord is your strength. You can do it through Christ. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Anyone can say that I have enduring faith. Until their faith is tried. Until their faith is put under pressure. Until their faith has been tested. Mm, here's what I mean. 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 3. Listen to it. Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. See, God didn't start this fight. Satan did. But God's going to finish it. That's right. And you're a soldier in God's army. And that's why he said we have to endure. But how can you endure unless you have enduring faith? How are you going to endure all the things that happen to you in everyday life, the rest of your life, unless you have faith? Where does faith come from? The Bible says faith comes by hearing and hearing by the Word of God. That's why I tell you, week somehow, one way or another, every week, I tell you, you need to read the Word of God. And you won't be so discouraged, so Amen. depressed, so defeated. You won't be trying to do everything in your natural self. You let the supernatural Amen. take over. Amen? Amen. It won't be you, the Bible said, but Christ in you. Amen. Working through you. Read the word. Amen. Hallelujah. People will always try to disappoint you. That's why you need to be in the words because God will never disappoint you. Amen. Amen. But I have to warn you, you cannot get this kind of faith just by wanting it, wishing it. It only works if you work it. You got to work at it. It's like anything else. If you didn't work your job, you wouldn't have anything. Same thing. If you don't work your faith, your faith goes away. It shrinks up. You work it by reading, by praying, by obeying, and by living it. Amen? Ooh. Hallelujah. There's no shortcut to victory. Neither is there any excuses. Amen? No favorites with God. No exceptions. None. Hallelujah. All right. Either Jesus, let me put it to you this way. Either Jesus is Lord of all or is not Lord at all. Amen. Isn't that the truth? Think about it. Amen. How can you love God with half your heart? No way. That's like saying, Lord, I love you this much. Your tank's either filled or it's empty. Yeah. Amen. Mm. You must have enduring faith in the hard times, the testing times, the trying times, and the crying times. Mm -hmm. And when we do hand-to-hand -hand combat, that's when you need enduring faith. Not only with the devil, because sometimes we blame everything on the devil. Isn't it true? Oh, yeah. The devil made me do it. Oh. And sometimes, can I let you know a little secret? Sometimes it's our own flesh. Now the devil's behind it all, but it's our own flesh. We get, we have a choice. We have to have enduring faith. Amen. Listen now, coming in for a landing. Second Timothy chapter four, verses three and four. Now this is the icing on the cake. So pay attention, please. For there is a time, Amen, that will come, and we're living in that time now. By the way. When they will not endure, talking about endurance, they will not endure sound doctrine. That's right. They will not believe the Word of God the way that it's written anymore. The time has come right. when they will not believe this Word and all want to live by it. Amen. Sound doctrine. But after their own lust, That's right. 
shall they heap to themselves teachers having itching ears, and they shall turn away, turn away from the truth, and shall be turned to fables, lies, exaggeration, anything but the truth, in other words. All right? I could camp there, but we're running low on time. We're going to keep on moving. We, as well as every church, sees people come and go. And this is why. Some people will stay for a season, and then you don't never see them again. Right. Some come back and forth because they struggle in their different ways in their walk. Right. And there's others that stay, and they're in for the long haul. This is what happens. It talks about the parable in Mark chapter 4, the parable of the sower. I don't have time to do the whole thing, so I'll just give you a portion of it so you get the idea. This is what happens to those that fall away and why they fall away. Why you see them and then you don't. Mark 4, 17. The seed, which is the Word of God, has been planted in them, but the root, they have no root in themselves. That's right. No foundation. Amen. Okay? They were saved, but they can't endure. This is why. When hard time comes, it says afterwards, affliction comes, persecution comes, and it arises for the word's sake. Listen, and immediately they are offended. People get offended over the word. People That's get offended right. at my preaching. That's right. They blame me mm -hmm. That's right. for the word of God. Because of their conviction. Because they live under guilt. Condemnation. They think I'm saying it. I'm doing it. Tells you right here. They get offended. That's right. That's right. Mm, listen. And the cares of... Oh my goodness. This gets heavy. And here's another reason why they leave. The cares of this world and the deceitfulness. It's a deceitfulness of riches and the lust of other things. Amen. <laughs> Thing take the place of God in their life. Riches right. become their God more than God. Right. Cares of the world. Me, 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 my, 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 I want to do my thing. This is what I do. This is what makes me happy. This is what pleases me. This is about me. This is... Amen. And see, they're not feeding their soul. They're not feeding their spirit, man. They're feeding their flesh. And eventually, the seed, the Word of God that was planted in their life, gets robbed by the devil. And it says they become unfruitful. Stand with me as we close. They become unfruitful. Listen. That's a warning to us all. You need to stay fruitful for the Lord for these last days. We're not going to get away with anything. Make sure your priorities are where they need to be. If we need to ask God to forgive us for getting off track, then we need to ask God's forgiveness for getting off track. Get back on track before you, the train wrecks. Because we're coming into the train station. Right. You know what I'm talking about? Amen. Hallelujah. If you need to make your peace with God, you need to make some adjustments in your walk with the Lord, now's the time to do it. He might come today. Wouldn't that be something? Oh, I hope he does. God. Hallelujah. But if he should tarry, we want to be living the life. Right. Let's pray and ask God to forgive us. Pray and ask God to strengthen us. Amen. Let's pray it together. Say, Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father forgive, me. Forgive, me. forgive me. Strengthen me. Strengthen Help me. Help me. Save me. Save Deliver me. me. Deliver me. Minister to me. Minister that you can me. minister through me. Minister. Use me for your glory. I ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Give him a praise. Hallelujah. Come on. Hallelujah. Yeah. Woo. Keep in third place in your life. God bless you, your food and fellowship. Amen.